If you're looking to integrate the Solar API's data into your website or application, there are a few initial setup steps to get going. Let me walk you through the process. The Solar API is part of the wider suite of services offered by the Google Maps platform and requires setting up a Google Cloud project. Consider this your dedicated workspace for all things Google Maps. First, we'll establish a project on the Google Cloud console. Start by choosing a project name that's clear and descriptive. While Google Maps offers a generous free usage tier, enabling billing ensures your project can scale if needed. This links your project to a payment method for potential charges exceeding the free limits. Next, we need to activate the API in the console. Think of APIs as individual services. Locate the API section and enable the Solar API. Lastly, we'll need to generate an API key. This key acts as a unique password, letting Google know it's your project requesting this data. Note, remember to restrict the API key before using it in live prediction. When you're ready to use the Solar API, you'll put your API key into a special web address. Go to the console, then credentials page, click create credentials, then API key. And you will be able to see your new API key listed below. Congratulations, you've successfully set up your project. However, it's important to call out that Google also has another security tool that's quite fancy called OAuth. OAuth is mostly for big projects and applications. If you're working on something like that, note it's a bit more complex, but the trade-off is that you get even more tighter controls over who can use your data. And it's recommended to create multiple project owners and billing administrators so that you'll always have someone with roles available on your team. I have linked instructions in this video's description if you wish to set up OAuth. As a final step, I would love to show you how to make a request to the Building Insights and Data Layer Endpoint. To make a request to the Building Insights Endpoint, which is our out-of-the-box solar and roof insight service, you send an HTTP GET request to the following. Include your request URL parameters that specify the latitude and longitude coordinates of the location and the minimum required quality level allowed in the results like this. That request produces a JSON response in this form where we can get information like the imagery date, postal code, solar potential data, roof data, the actual bounding box around the Latlon location, financial return on investment for a US location, panel capacity, area in meters, and imagery quality, for example. Next, to make a request to the data layers endpoint, which is the service for accessing multiple imagery data sets for creating custom solar models, you include the following URL parameters in your request that specify the following. Latitude and longitude coordinates of the location, the radius of the region surrounding the location, the imagery data you wish returned, such as DSM, RGB, mask, annual flux, or monthly flux, which we covered in a prior episode. The minimum desired imagery quality and the minimum scale of data to return in meters per pixels. The following example requests information in a 100 meter radius for the location at these coordinates. Then the API returns URLs in the following format. These URLs can be used to access GeoTIFF files, which is a type of image file that contains numeric data mapping to every pixel of the image. And there you have it, a quick walkthrough of how to set up your project and make a request to start using the Solar API. We look forward to seeing what beautiful things you will build for the world. Cheers.